Hello, how are you doing? Have you heard the term cursor AI and you're not quite sure you know exactly what this is? Well, if so, then watch along with me for the next few minutes and I will quickly get you up to speed. Okay, let's get started. Cursor AI is an AI first code editor designed to help developers write, debug, and understand code more efficiently. It's built on top of Visual Studio Code and integrates with large language models from OpenAI, Anthropic, or others through APIs. So does Cursor AI support this new emerging software development style known as Vibe Coding? It does. But before I talk about this, let me talk about Cursor AI's most important features. As an AI-powered code editor, Cursor AI replaces or enhances your existing code editor with one that is deeply integrated with AI. It looks and feels like VS Code, so there's a familiar UI, but with extra AI-powered features embedded natively. Cursor AI supports inline chat and autocomplete. Well, what does this mean exactly? Well, you can highlight code and ask questions like, what does this function do? Or can you refactor this code block for me? The AI code assistant will reply in line often with editable suggestions. Autocomplete is enhanced with LLMs to offer better context-aware code completions. Cursor AI supports code-base-wide understanding. So how does it do this? Well, Cursor AI indexes your entire code base and allows you to ask questions about your project like, where is this function used? What APIs does this service call? It does this by using embeddings and storing them in an internal vector data store, which enables it to search semantically and not just by exact text masters. Cursor AI has support for test writing, bug fixing, and refactoring. You can generate unit tests for functions, fix bugs, or refactor code by prompting the AI. As you would expect, Cursor AI also has support for Git integration. You can generate comment messages, explain diffs, or even generate PR descriptions. As I mentioned earlier, Cursor AI has multi-model support. Cursor supports different LLM providers like OpenAI, Anthropic, and others via OpenRouter, so you can choose the best model for your needs. So going back to my earlier question, how does Cursor AI enable Vibe Coding? Well, quickly, to make sure everyone watching this video is aligned, if you're not familiar with Vibe Coding, it's a flow-based conversational style of programming where you interact with an AI assistant in your code editor while building software. Cursor AI enables Vibe Coding by turning the development experience into a fluid conversational workflow where you can interact with your code editor using natural language prompts. It understands your entire code base semantically, allowing you to refactor, generate, or debug code without leaving the editor or losing focus. Cursor AI gives you a minimal distraction-free UI that is built on VS Code, but is, is optimized for this smooth conversational coding. Everything feels fast, clean, and in rhythm, and allows your thinking to more often get into this flow state. Okay, so, Personally, I am experimenting with Cursor AI because I do feel AI-first code editors will transform the coding experience into this fast conversational workflow. And although there are problems, Cursor AI and the LMs that support this development methodology are rapidly improving. I love how Cursor AI and Vibe Coding are allowing me to more often get into a flow state, which ultimately is dramatically increasing my productivity. So what do you think of Cursor AI? Do you think you might experiment with an AI-first code editor? Let me know what you think in the comments below. I want to hear your thoughts on this topic. Okay, thanks for watching. This video with all the other videos in this playlist are listed in the YouTube description. I invite you to watch other videos on my channel. If you like the way I'm sharing this content, please consider subscribing. When you subscribe, this really helps my channel grow. One last thing, we all love technology and we're all excited about all the innovation in the cloud and machine learning and AI. But don't forget to carve out some time to live in the real world. Go outside, go swimming, go hiking, go climbing, go surfing. Get out and move your body. If you do, let me know in the comments. 
I want to hear about that. Thanks. Have a great day.